What's up, good people? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl here, CB. For the new subscribers, welcome. If you've not subscribed, can you consider subscribing to my YouTube channel? And for the returning subscribers, welcome back. So, today we are going to be preparing teaspoons. Did you know teaspoons is the easiest snack you can prepare if you have visitors? And it takes maximum 30 minutes, that is preparation, up to cooking. On today's ingredients, we have self raising flour, 2 cups. We have blue buns. We have milk. We have 1 egg. We have sugar. Uh, basically, that's what we are going to be using for today. And uh, we'll go straight into the preparation. As I prepare the ingredients, I'll preheat my oven at 180 degrees Celsius. Onto our flour, I'm going to add uh, sugar. I had measured it's half cup. I'll mix this. I had washed my hands, so I'll use my hands. I'll mix this mixture until it's the texture is like breadcrumbs. That's the texture I want to achieve. As you can see, it's uh, forming like breadcrumbs, sort of. That's the texture I wanted. But once you get the texture that you want, I'll just do a well here and add milk. Basically, the milk is to make a dough. I've just sprinkled some uh, flour. Then I'll just take my dough. And continue just gently don't overdo it just want to spread it you just continue doing this until it stops sticking on your working surface but don't let the dust get hot I'm gonna roll it until it's about a centimeter I don't want it to be too thick just spread it I want 
don't know to shape it. In the kitchen, you have to be creative. And uh, for me, I don't have the cookie cutter, but I use what I have. I use my cup to give it the shapes I want. I just press. When you cut, these are the shapes I wanted. And if I can pick one, you can see the thickness. This is the thickness I wanted. It's just about a centimeter. Yes. So, onto my cooking tray. I'm going to grease this with glue. Different. In. I want to grease my cooking tray. You can if you can use a, a brush if you have, but for me it's my kitchen. I have to improvise what I have, so I use my hands to spread it evenly. When you're greasing, you, you just start from the edges first before you, you go to the middle part of the cooking tray. Make sure you spread the margarine very well. So I'm gonna put it to my cooking pan like that. You make sure you just leave enough space, not too big, not too small. At this point, I'll take my egg, I'll beat it. If you have a silicone brush, you use the silicone brush to just put a little coat the upper part. Uh, but I'm gonna use my spoon. And make sure when you're coating, the egg does not it shouldn't fall into the tray, it just should be on top of the upper coating. This one is to help the nice finishing color. Like that. When you have a brush, it does it so well. So that's what I'm going to do for all of them. So I'm done with the dressing. Uh, the egg, as I've told you, is to help the finishing color. So I'm going to put it into my oven. Remember the oven, I preheated it at 180 degrees. So this one, I'm going to put it at 220 degrees for 10 minutes. So I'm going to put it at 220 degrees for 10 minutes. Then we'll come check them up after 10 minutes. So it's uh, 20 minutes later. So let's check. Wow. 
They look amazing. So I'm going to remove them. So this is how they look. Very nice. As you can see, the golden on top is the egg that we put. If you look at it, from uh, the lower side, it's well cooked, as you can see. And uh, the small, small bites that had uh, that remained from the door, I decided to improvise since I did not want to waste anything in my kitchen. So I prepared the small donuts mini donuts and that's how they look so i'm gonna remove them from the, my baking pan to my tray and this is the final product and we can just If you break it inside, you see, it's well cooked, it's soft, as you can feel it. So let's have a bite. So yeah, please try this recipe. Tag me on my Instagram, it's the CB dot ke like my video kindly consider subscribing see you next time ciao